Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Clear Hue. If you are new here, namaste. My name is Dr. Rakshita and this channel is all about skincare, wellness and makeup. So if any of these interest you, don't forget to subscribe. Okay guys, so basically I recently tried the Plum's new sunscreen. It's their Sika and Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Light sunscreen and I have a bunch of thoughts on this, especially the name Aqua Light. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now guys, let me just very very quickly just describe the ingredients in here, the sun filters that are in here and then we will go on to talk about, you know, um, basically what my experience was with this product and everything that I feel about it. Alright, so uh, the sun filters in here are, the first sun filter is Uvinyl A+. Basically, it has new generation sun filters, which are very, um, you know, easily available in Korean sunscreens, but not in like American sunscreens. And Korean sunscreens are pretty popular because of these advanced sun filters, and now we are using them quite a lot. So, um, the first sun filter in here is Uvinyl A+, which is basically a UVA protecting sun filter. Now, for those of you who don't know, UVA and UVB rays are different types of UV uh, rays from the sun. There's a UVC ray as well, but our main target is UVA and UVB rays. UVA rays cause skin aging and UVB rays cause skin burning and they also cause different types of skin cancer. Basically, the function of these sun filters is to stop these different types of UV rays from entering your skin and causing free radical damage or basically aging, burning and all of that. So, the first sun filter is Uvinyl A+. The second one is Uvinyl T150, which is again a UVB filter. Apparently, it's the highest photostable sun filter with the most amount of absorption of UVB rays. Then we have Tinozorb S, which is, you know, a hybrid sun filter. It provides both UVA and UVB uh, sun protection. Hybrid as in uh, broad spectrum, basically. And then it also has zinc oxide, which is a physical sun filter that of course is a broad spectrum or like a hybrid sun filter basically physical sun filters like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide are generally hybrid or like broad spectrum sun filters and these ones are specific for uv and uvb so these are the sun filters that are basically in this sunscreen now apart from the sun filters the main selling point of these sunscreen the way they market it is as sika and hyaluronic acid now sika and hyaluronic acid both are almost at the bottom of the sunscreen like the ingredients list not at the bottom but like in the middle but towards the bottom so both like hyaluronic acid can still work if it's in low quantity sika i still think companies can you know put more amounts of sika in the sunscreen but i do get that this is a sunscreen it had to had more sun filters more stabilizing ingredients than sika so i give them that but if you just want the sunscreen for sika benefits then there's other products in the market that will give you that for this sunscreen, don't just buy it because it has Sika, buy it for the sun filters. Now, as usual, I will definitely include like a texture shot of me putting it on my face. And this sunscreen particularly warrants a texture shot. Now, I saw this go like, you know, almost viral on social media, especially Instagram is the social media. I feel Instagram is now like a Bombay local train. Everybody's pushing everyone. One person says something, the other has to follow suit. And then it's just like a fish market now. I feel like YouTube on the other hand is way less crowded. And I personally like YouTube more because then I can take my time and talk about a product rather than, you know, just having to sum up all my thoughts in one minute, which is for me not that possible. I love talking. So yeah, basically I saw this product go insanely viral on Instagram. The company did a lot of paid collaborations as well. Now the thing with this product, like I was excited about it because I was like, okay, everybody's talking about it. Must be like a really amazing sunscreen. Now, initial few times when I use this sunscreen, I'll tell you, I felt like I experienced white cast, even though I am a bit fair to medium skin tone person so i don't really you know experience white cast that often especially in sunscreens that are available now but i felt like this one particularly had a bit of white cast or it made you not exactly white cast but like it made you look extra white if that made sense which is like white cast but i don't know how to explain it but it didn't really settle on my face really nicely Plus, I noticed one thing that with this particular sunscreen, if you don't have a lot of texture on your face, if your skin is almost smooth, this will go smooth and look nice and dewy. If you have texture, it might settle 
into those lines and those cracks of your skin if you have really dry skin that you didn't do a lot of like good smoothing skin care before this this might settle into those cracks and those lines i personally noticed that and that is why it wasn't my favorite sunscreen currently plus i in the beginning of the video i said we have to talk about the name aqualite this does not feel aqualite it feels a bit thick a bit more goopy wait let me just quickly you know let me just quickly show you the texture i just took a bit to show you i took like really little amount so it still looks better than what it really is but this is not really aqua light if you ask me it takes a while to settle into your skin it fe feels like a thick lotion that i personally feel would be more suitable for drier skin types than oily skin type people though i think this was more for like basically it's for all skin types but i feel they uh, launched another one for dry skin type but i still feel this one would be better for someone with a dry skin type and a more texture free smooth skin <laughs> which is like a very narrow population of people this is all my opinions by the way other people felt differently if you like this sunscreen continue to use it this is just my experience with it you don't have to come at me for not liking a product which i happen to go through a lot but yeah the thing is uh, even with this one basically i've tried other sunscreens in the market and if you want new generation filters dot and key has it foxtails newer launch the glow sunscreen has the same new filters in it so there's a bunch of sunscreens in the market that have these new generation filters that feel much much lighter i'm an extremely oily acne prone skin type and this just not this just didn't feel right to me on my skin my mom likes it a bit more so she's a more combination skin type and she doesn't really mind that whitish weird look which okay but i don't like it so all in all this wasn't really for me i didn't see this sunscreen claiming to be um you know water resistant or sweat resistant either if i'm wrong please correct me but i don't think this is water and sweat sweat resistant so all in all my rating for this sunscreen would be like a 6 on 10 uh i've cut marks for it not being water resistant for it having a bit of a white cast for it saying it's aqua light and not being aqua light this is what i've cut marks for sorry it just fell down <laughs> but if you're someone that enjoys sunscreens like this that a, a bit more thicker uh in texture a bit more lotiony and yeah if you don't mind that definitely use it but yeah, i'm wearing this sunscreen today i don't know if you can tell my face does look really glowy which is the basically the finish of this product and my skin currently i'm using tretinoin so like very up close i can tell like here and here it like settled a bit but not a lot i don't know how to show it on camera but in person you will be able to see again i won't really recommend it much i feel like there's better sunscreens in the market but if you like it continue using it that was it for today's video guys if you like the video don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one till then bye bye